Okay. I believe we are live here. Okay. With the one and only Bobby Smurda from the PA Going on Poker Streets, whether it's Poker Philly Live or out there in the online streets. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Oh, hold on. you're like, holy, what is going on here? That was like... I'm is it super delayed? It was like a little, it was like getting a little laggy. Oh, jeez. The video, because I had to have it on full screen, but I don't know if like, um. Yeah, like I'm watching it on the, on TV and it's like five seconds behind. Um, yeah, it's like, is it, did you look laggy on the screen? I think, I think it's good now. It was just like, and out of nowhere, it starts spazzing out, but I think we're all good now. Okay. I think we're all good now, but so first off, what are the plans for the day? Are we going to Philly Live tonight? Are we playing PA Scoop? I think I'm going to be at Live. Um, I got a bunch of boys down tailgating right now. I don't think I'm going to participate in that, but I think Live around 5 or 6 o'clock is going to happen, and uh not gonna be too late of a night. We got a big day tomorrow online. I'm sure you're firing. Yeah. Uh, but got got home at seven last night, and uh, I think we're gonna have to run it back. Wait, you got home last night? You played a Philly live? You said. Yeah, we had a home game. Uh, it broke a little early. It broke around like one thirty, and uh, you know it's kind of early for the boys. So me and my buddy Mark bombed it down to live. And uh, tables were kind of tight, but, you know, once the alcohol stops getting served, the tables loop, uh, tighten up a little bit. But it was still a good, uh, good session, made one really bad call. But, you know, I called uh, last hand, guys. I was up four bucks, looked down at Rockets, and stacked the same guy that I just punted to. So that was kind of fun. Hey, it's a game. So have you Philly Live is the one casino that I have not, not played cash at, like in the Philly area. I was going to say, I've seen you play, like, uh, some 1Ks. I don't know if you played any. I don't know if you get out of bed for the 560s or not. But uh, no, I do not. I do not get out no. of bed. No, like, trying to, first, like, this was, like, driving. Like, if I live, like, five minutes away, like, you know, I'd be a McNick. I'll fucking stroll in Max Late Red, you know? Like, right. See if you I'm know, 25 bigs, 25 bigs, stack someone like me yeah. that shouldn't be in the 1K, you know? I don't really, like. Really live, it's like I like they have a lot of good dealers, but like I don't know, the tournaments are run pretty like. Not the end live poker just sucks. Like I don't know, I'm not, I hate live poker. Like I don't know. Oh, it's I used torture. To play, I used to play it's... a lot of live cash, like in the Philly area, like but this was pre, um, Philly live being there. You know, I play at Sugar House and fucking parks. Right. I I personally like Philly Live more than than Rivers or Sugar House. Um, I used to always fire at Rivers, and then had like some bad experiences there with some of the floor people. And I was like, they finally got rid of the one guy at Live, and I was like, all right, I'm sticking to Live. Uh, Parks is nice, but the fact that you have to pay for drinks is kind of ridiculous to me. Um, yeah, well, that, is, that is yeah, it's kind of true. And it's also like 45 minutes away, so I, I usually stick to Philly Live for the most part, but um, we might hit Borgata for one of these series that's coming up. Yeah, I think it's in. I plan to go play the series. Or like is, that the after, is that right after? Is that right after Scoop? Yeah, in the main, yeah. Nice. Yeah, I, I might try something there. I've never played a tournament at Borgata, so I'm, I'm oh, kind of excited. Got to. For that. But the tournaments at the Borgata are the best. Like, it's just like. Cause like I don't even like live poker, but like I don't know. There's something maybe it's a like nostalgia factor, just like the entertainment factor. Like tournaments of the Borgata, like that's like actual fun live poker. Like, you oh, see you you never you never know what you're gonna see at the Borgata. I mean that I I played there maybe like 15, 20 times, all cash, but like it's always an absolute scene. You walk away with a story every time. Yeah, that's what, like yeah. So like, cause I don't even plan on going to like the World Series this summer, like. I'm super bummed by uh, tournament of champions. Like, oh, yeah, you man. know, I've got I've got one ring. It was a miracle sun run, and then I told everyone I know, I'm like, I'm gonna play tournament of champions. It's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna bring like five, six grand to Vegas, play a bunch of tournaments when I bust after like three levels, 
And then they're like, oh, guess what? It's in L.A. And it's like, I mean, realistically, you book three nights of a hotel and the flight. No, it's like. You're, you're in. It's a free roll that just turned into a 2K. Yeah, and then you're like, yeah, and L.A. like sucks. Like, oh, where are you going to go? Like, yeah, I mean, like, it's also like the highest rake in the country, I think, from like what I've heard. Tax, even if you cash, like, hell, there's like a California tax. Yeah, that's actually insane. So, yeah, it's just, I mean, there'll be SOP, but I don't know. So, do you have any plans to go to the World Series in this summer? Or? I mean, my original plan was to uh, to figure out when Tournament Champions was and then fire, like, or pick like three to four tournaments after it and then fire them but now it's like i was just there in january and it's like do i want to go back and yeah, you know would you, would you with january? work like uh the fiscal year for work starts july 1st so mm -hmm. the first two weeks or the last two weeks of june first two weeks of july are just insane and it's like you know that's the heart of the series so I still might send it but I'm not as excited as I was I'm kind of bummed about it honestly did you have any deep runs in January did you do anything then no nah, it was uh, I went out for my cousin's 21st and uh, just played a bunch of cash at the win so I I pretty much sat in the same seat for three days straight and just like didn't move and there were people that like went home shower came back went home shower came back <laughs> The one guy was like, oh, you look good. You look like you got some rest. I'm like, dude, I haven't left here in <laughs> 70 hours. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I played an absolutely obscene amount of poker and ended up, like, almost dead even. Like, it was started off great and then just kind of slowly went downhill. But it was pretty fun. Um, but the wind's my favorite place to play, but I really want to play a tournament there as well. It almost yeah, yeah, feels the wind, criminal. The wind's, my, like, the wind's by far the best place in Vegas. Like, Oh, yeah. I mean, like, I was sitting there for a while, and I was like, oh, my stomach kind of hurts. Like, I'm not feeling too good. The dealer went on her break, came back. I was like, I really need some Tums. She went on break, came back, and threw Tums on the table, and I was like, what, what just happened? Like, in Philly, they would be like, suck it up, you idiot. Like, I don't want to hear your complaining. She just took, she just got like 15 minute break and went and got me Tums. I'm like, this place is legendary. Like, what a what a nice person. Yeah, all the dealers there. That's why I like the dealers that, uh, like the tournament dealers that um, are at, like they do like the MGM and the win tournaments. Like there'll, there'll be a lot of the same dealers that do the Borgata that are at the win all summer. And they have, like, uh, so many qualities. They fly out for it? Well, they're just, like, traveling dealers, you know? Like, they're only at the Borgata for, like, when they have the series. Oh, okay. But, um... Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I really like... Is the win, um... Do they have, like, conference rooms? Like, I don't understand how they run these big-ass yeah, yeah, tournaments. Yeah, they're, like, you gotta go down there in a separate spot. Like, when they have the World Championship or whatever. Okay, but it's still in, like, the, the like, Encore or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just you gotta walk down a bunch of random aisles. Okay, all right. Yeah, I, I definitely got to get in the mix there. Maybe like a 1K mystery, if that's a thing, like a 1600 or something. Yeah, they always have the 1600 mystery then in the summer, too. That's like one of their main tournaments. They were like the first people to have the mystery bounty. I'm excited to, uh, I'm hoping that live PKOs starts to become yeah. a thing. I played one, I, I played mean, the one at the, the win, like two years ago. I played a live PKO. How, how was it? Like, were, I mean, were people can I told by... Stephen Chidwick, Chidwick or whatever. I had aces. He had kings like an idiot. I got his bounty. Nice, nice. <laughs> what a moron. That guy's not very good at poker. No, no. But it was like a poker. It was like a 5K, but it was like, I don't know. It felt like a poker go tournament. But, like, they ran it really well, like the PKO part. Like, you would right. like, you know, you have like, you get like six little chips or whatever that are worth like 500 each or whatever. And then, okay. Like, when you knock someone out, the deal like the floor comes over and they like hand you half of the chips you get to put in your pocket, and then like half of them get put onto your bounty. And then Are the, the end, chips? And then, and then at the end of the tournament, like you take your the chips you have in your pocket and you go cash them out. 
Are the chips like uh they're not like real cash game chips, right? No, they use like the twenty five dollar like the twenty five like when they used to be Annie chips. But you give them okay. to, you give them to the floor like when you bust and then like they'll right. exchange them for the cash chips. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But So uh what was what's like your first poker memory that, that you have? Po what do you mean, like my first like playing poker? Or like like if you could, if you could think of the first memory where you ever just looked down at some cards, like how'd you get into it in the first place? Just like ESPN, you know, like Money Maker, like playing in friends' basements, you know, like right. Like I, yeah, we would just like have to, like you know, tour the most ridiculous part because we'd have tournaments. We like we didn't know anything. We didn't even know about like blinds increasing. So we'd just right. have like tournaments for like eighteen. Like it'd be like fucking eighteen people, and the tournament lasts twelve hours because we never increased the blinds. Right. right. Play, yeah. Like, it's like me and my buddies. Like we played. Uh, we played like nine man tournament, like sit and goes. And I, every day I'd be like, guys, we should really try out cash games. And everyone's like, no, 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 no. We and didn't even, like, really have the concept of tournaments, cash. Like, yeah. Like, it was like, like eleven years. It old. was like, guys, we're playing for twenty bucks. We just played for ten hours, and then we chop at like four o'clock in the morning for like. Eighty dollars, and it's like, can we please play some cash? Like, this is so, brutal. Because so at, at that point, like, no one else played. So I was yeah. like, guys, trust me. And eventually, we made the conversion. But so is this brutal. like high school or whatever? Uh, we started playing home games probably my sophomore year of college. So like, probably like eight years ago, and we did tournaments for like two years and now we're still playing 10 cent 20 cent but it's a 10 cent 20 cent game that gets like anywhere between like two to three k on the table so it's it's not really 10 cent 20 cent i mean the blinds are kind of arbitrary at that point like yeah it's just a whole bunch of degenerates like backing off first hand second hand yeah i never, and, played, um, I never played poker when i was in college really i was too um uh, not sober enough to be playing. Okay. Uh, I do, because, like, when, when I turned 20, I turned 21 in the summer, like, in the summer, and it was, like, I went to parks. It was, like, three days after I turned 21 with my friend, and I went, first time I played, like, live cash or whatever, and I sit down, and I had to leave. I had, like, a fantasy football draft in, like, two hours, so, like, right. I couldn't, like, I couldn't stay, so, like, I it was there, I fucking went on a sick heater, you know, made like, I don't know, like a grand at one, two. And then it was just out of there. And then I had to leave the like, fans oh, uh, my, my, bag. You and probably I was like, oh, the okay. best. But then like, you know, I went to college like a week later. I wasn't really playing. And then right. I got I, back into it. Like, they're like, you know, like the Jay Carver streams, like YouTube and like, like Twitch poker started. Yeah, Twitch is great. I mean, I, I feel like. Like, studying is so boring, but, like, sitting there and watching, like, Lex, Spraggy, and Finton, like, you can learn a ton and actually be, like, enjoyable, but, like, sitting there, I mean, I've never looked at a solver in my life. I mean, that's probably pretty clear by the way I play, but, you know, it's just, like, so boring, but I'd rather sit there and watch Lex just, like, blast off, you know, 15, 20K buy-ins and try to learn yeah. something here yeah, and there. Yeah, also, like, street, like... Twitch is like, yeah, I think Twitch is one of the best things. That's like kind of how I like started learning because I'm the same way. Like I'm not like stud like, it's so, like I can say with other people and like stay on task, but like if I try to do it by myself, like. Oh yeah, you're yeah. you're looking at your phone. You're yeah, looking like, at two seconds TV. later. I'm on Twitter, like reading some dumb shit that like doesn't matter. Right. Like so, like yeah, <laughs> but then like Twitch, like you can watch all sorts of people play. You can see how like the break even people play, how like you know bad people play how good like you see all all different types and like you get to hear their thought process like because sometimes you play a hand versus somebody you're like why the fuck did that guy want to do that and then you hear some cheeseburger right. on twitch say like he's like oh i'm gonna do this because you know i think i think of these cards and you're like, oh that makes sense i guess but like now you know right. why you're thinking like that yeah, like, you, you lose a bit. If I lose a pot to anyone that I think is streaming, I am not bringing up the stream. I'm like, all right, what, what, what's this guy doing? Like, and usually that's like, 
you know, Cooch and Wolf Spoon, IO. Like, I want to stream, but, like, it makes, it gets, like, I, like, enjoy streaming, but, like, I don't, like, it, I get too much in my head. Because, like, the player pool is too small, like, when I stream before. Because, like, you can't, like, there's only so many, like, it's so small. Like, if you start streaming and you do, if you do anything, like, slightly off, they're going to be like, oh, like, they can exploit you easier. But maybe they don't. People just suck. So, like, you get in my head, though. Like, people yeah. think, they think you're coming after you, even though you're just like, no, they just fucking had it. Like, Right. And it's also, like, if you're on stream and, like, you get out of line or you blast off a few times, like, it can work back in your favor because you're like, you know, I, I thought that guy was a nit. And then you see him, you know, three bet some dog shit hand, triple yeah. barrel off, and you're like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. Like, okay. So, I mean, I, think, it, I don't know. I think uh, actually, like, if someone's streaming, I think you can get more bluffs through only because you get the person gets to go look at the stream to see if you're bluffing. Like, they get to go right. find out. Right? Like, they don't, like, I feel like half the reason people call, like, you know, recreational players, like, it's like one ego and two, like, what do you got? Like, I gotta see what you right. have over there. Like, uh, right. like if I fold here, I don't have to think about it for, like, the next, like, ooh, did they, were they bluffing me? Did they have it? Like, you know, like, you just call and find out on the river. Like, it's P in PA, nobody folds the river. Like, they might fold the turn <laughs> because they're like, oh, I don't know. If I called the turn. I have to call the river because right. I got here, right? Like, it doesn't matter that I don't block anything and I block all the bluffs. Like, I'm on the river. I got a call. Like, what do you mean? Well, well, blockers aren't real, Ob, so let's let's make sure we make that clear. Blockers are not real. They don't exist. Yeah, it doesn't matter you have an ace. They still got two of them over there. Like, it, it, unless it's PLO with enough flush blocker, and even then, you blast off, and someone snaps you off with, like, a five-high flush, and you're like, wait a sec, like, that should have worked, but you, do you play any mixed games? Um, I do, like, I want to play more mixed games. I did. I cashed the one K uh, mixed game tournament at uh, the win with a bunch of crushers. Was that a uh, eight game? Yeah, it was a no. It was a one K horse. Ah, oh, horse is the best, dude. I, I I don't. I mean, like, I like the other one. What's What's wrong with the screen to the right? Frankie's saying I move your screen to the right. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking at the TV. I kind of look like I moved like six, like a. Uh. Uh, are you good now? I think it's fine now. Yeah, I'm in the middle now. Yeah, we should be good. Is it good now, Frankie? I I moved it to the left on my screen, and I don't know. I don't know, cause I'm like preview on the program. It looks like. I got you centered on my OBS whatever machine. I mean, I, I look I look pretty pretty normal now. I think I'm in the middle again. We should be fine. But I actually don't know where the, I don't have the chat up, so I'm not really sure what what's going on there. I don't know. I'm just a really good uh, YouTube uh, user. Well, I, I mean, I honestly, I definitely want to rip a stream at some point. Like, I I want to play a stream, but I just don't know if my computer can handle it. Like, the fact that it took that long for our call to load, I'm like, the last thing I want to do is have, like, 1,500 in binds up, and then the computer just stops working, and it's like, talk about tilt. Like, that's going to drive me nuts. So, like, when do you, how do you decide on, like, on a day, like, oh, am I going to play online, or am I going to play? At... So, for the most part, I used to play... There was a point where I was playing, like, probably... His right. I mean, I'm so confused. <laughs> I was trying, like, which right? I don't know. Okay. Go on. Yeah, continue. there was a point where I was probably playing, like, six days a week. Um, Right now, I'm firing mainly Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Uh... So those four days, and then uh, Friday, Saturday is usually when I end up at live, for the most part. On the weekend, uh, yeah. But, but like, I'm not, I'm not going to live on, like, a weekday and then going to work the next day. It's just not happening. But, um, like, right now, uh, since I moved, like, I, I was in Maniunk 
uh, at my parents' house, and then I got my own house in Roxborough. And the commute's like probably 40 minutes to work. So I, I get in around 9, get home at, or I leave at 5, get home at 6, and then fire, uh, you know, fire at like 7. I was firing at 6 before, but MGM yeah, they changed stopped the schedule. 50 stack. Yeah, once that 50 stack moved, it's like, am I really going to fire at 6 o'clock to have $40 on the table? Like, you know, I could fire up global, but... Like, for the most part, I just start at 7 and then fire, like, the 20s, the Seagoat, whatever Stark has. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I I'm playing, like, four days a week now. And then Friday, every Friday, I try to run a home game. If it doesn't run, pretty much just hop in the car, go to live, or grab an Uber or something like that. But, um I mean, I should probably, like, sharpen up on my cash game a little bit because the players are so bad that, like, if I go and try to profit, I feel like I would print, but I'm usually just goofing around really hard. So it's like... Well, I mean, you also, like, you got a real job, you know? Like, yeah, like, like, I, I like see... If the win rate isn't the, you know, whatever, per right. time per hundred, you're not going to be like, ah, oh, I, I got I'm homeless or whatever. Yeah, like, I, I see cash games as a degen activity. I see online tournaments as a fun sort of side income kind of thing. But, like, ultimately, I know that I'm not making nearly enough money to quit my job. And, you know, like, when I first started playing, I, I went up, like, a couple grand. And I'm like, oh, I could I could do this, like, long term. And then I dusted it all in one weekend at the Borgata, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to keep my day job. Like, <laughs> this is uh, – it's pretty brutal. I mean, you know how down swings can get. It's like, you know, I, I got to pay the mortgage one way or another, so um, I'm going to hold on to the job for at least a few more years and then, uh, you know, see what happens. But yeah, yeah, until you win the main or something. Yeah, you know, ship the main and then never work a, a day again. But – it's super impressive, you know, people that play a lot, like, for a living, because, like, I know how the stress can get without playing for a living. You know, you go on a, like, I don't know what your biggest PA downer is, but, like, I, I lost, like, 20, low, like, 22K, 23K at the same time that the market tanked, and I'm like, there goes, like, half my net worth just in the dust. And, you know, I still got a job and all, but, like, it just it's takes still, the fun still doesn't feel good. It's still... Yeah, it's still a shitload of money. It's, like, 40, 50K just in the dust, like, in the blink of an eye. And you're, like, just kind of praying you can get it back. But I, I, I had some nice, like, semi-decent scores after that huge downer. I, Bob whooped my ass in the special, you know, doing his thing. But, you know, second in the special and, like, third in the phase. And I was like, all right, we got some back. So we're not completely devastated. But how, how do you feel about phase tournaments? Phase tournaments? I feel like I always forget to register them. And um, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I like them in theory. Do you have any bags for uh, for Scoop? No, I have. I've only played it, like, twice. I'm always, like, hold on. This My thing's, like, you're, like, Okay, now it's working. It was like, I don't know. My computer was having a little spasm right there, but it's back. <laughs> but no, I don't have any scoop. Yeah, I literally played it probably at registered maybe. Maybe only once. I don't know. I'm not a... Are you going to fire know. them Sunday, or you got too much stuff going on Sunday? Sunday, like, you know, like... I don't know. Like, because tomorrow, like, am I going to play? I'm probably not going to fire the 2500s. I don't know. My are, there, is... are there two of them? There, yeah, there's two of them. I mean, I might... Like, I hate satellites, like... So realistically, tomorrow someone could go in for this, like twenty k buy-ins. You think? I mean, yeah. I mean, some people are like that anyway. With that, like you know, the people play other sites. You know, taters would be fine firing some like absurd shit on. on ah, well, I, you know, he's got like eighteen venom tickets, so he'll be all right. Uh, I mean, yeah, he'll still be firing. Frankie, Frankie's got like ten k in buy-ins on a Wednesday somehow. You know. Yeah, he's a sicko for that. I, I don't know how, I, like, honestly, the first bet I've ever played on was ACR. And I'm sitting there, like, grinding the 
fifty cent on demands, yeah, like yeah. three dollars sit and goes. And like looking back on it, it's like I really started on the hardest possible site, just getting my ass kicked by the Russians. Like just I, don't know, yeah. I started on like ignition, ignition at least. I did play a little on Iggy, but I like I at least want to know your username. Like, if you're going to smoke me, I at least want to know what your name is. I don't want to see player 184 that just kicked me out for the 28th <laughs> yeah, but, time. Yeah, yeah. But, like, initially, then it's like, you know, like, you can just play so exploitable, you know, like, other, like, like I don't know. And then but people also bluff on there, because, like, I feel like people bluff more because, like, people, you can't get yelled at. Like, if you do some dumbass shit versus someone on some side, they're gonna be like, what the fuck was that? Like, on Ignition, right. you do dumb shit, like, nobody knew it was you. It was like, ah, it was like, who cares? It was like, you know, <laughs> just some another Ignition player, like. Iggy's weird, like, I, I don't know if it's still this way, but I feel like you used to start with a shitload of big blinds, and then. Yeah, yeah, it's still that way. The yeah. FT's like, Average stack eight bigs, and it's <laughs> no, like, yeah, it's like it's like starting stack like seventy seven thousand chips, level right. one ten twenty. Yeah, <laughs> and then you're at the end, and you're like, wait, am I playing a satellite? Like, what's going on here? But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I I try to. I mean, we're we're lucky to even have you know online legalized poker i know you hate stars but you know yeah they just don't let me win like they're literally like I, I was up more money on acr last year like i won on every site besides poker stars last year that's that's actually insane just, i mean like, obviously like variants and shit and like i don't know i've def it definitely get into my head more like in spots i should just take and i'm just like oh poker stars they're gonna fucking right. poker stars <laughs> here and i'm like on bet mj i'm just gonna fucking send it like, <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, WSOP is kind of like that for me. I feel like it's just like a cursed site. And the other day, like, they had a hundred uh, circuit, and I'm sitting there spamming the deposit button, and it's like, you're located outside the country, and I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Like, all right, this is a sign. Like, chalk it up. Let me fire global instead. Not that that's much better, oh, but global's the best. Yeah, Glo Global is the best. I just wish every tournament was one rebuy. No, like, no, obviously... No rebuys. I, I honestly love it. Like, because, like, I just max light regs every tournament, like... Do you play differently on there? I play differently? Yeah, I fucking... I actually, like, listen. When people tell me they have it, I fucking believe them. You know, like... Okay. <laughs> I'm fucking poker stars. Like, I, like, I'm, like, I, like, talk myself into, like, oh, maybe they're bluffing. Like... No, a little poker, they like, when fucking someone bets big, I'm like, ah, this fucking guy, he fucking has it. He yep. can have it. I'll get the next one, you know? Some Phil Hummy shit, like. Right. Who who would you say is who's like your top three hardest to play against in uh in PA? Or is that like is that like too uh exposing of your game? No, it's cause yeah, like I don't even know it's like not even like hardest to play against, so it's more like most like I don't, well, like, well, Clement's not here anymore. Fucking Green Turtle Show. He was always like, right. absurd to play against. I don't know. There's not many people like... Well, Dean... I don't know if Dean's been playing. There's not even like people that like... People consider the best. One people that like... You're in a hand and you're like, Ah, this fucking guy. Like, I, like you know? Like, you just know this fucking guy. is just like... He's not going to let you win the pot. You know? Like... Yeah. It's not even necessarily like For people me? that are winning the most money. Like, well, Dean is up a lot. But like... Yeah, know, he's like, up. He's up like over three hundred, I think, on online. Yeah. But like, I, I would say, I feel like Porter is just an absolute pain in the ass. Like, I never make the right decision against Porter, and he doesn't fire low buy-ins. So it's like, I'm only in two fifties, and like, maybe he fires a hundo once in a while, but like. I feel like I just never make the right move against him because I'm like, you, you shouldn't have a, you know, a five here and he's got eight, five offsuit and like a four bet pot. And you're like, well played, I guess. Like, you got me again, you bastard. Yeah, there's definitely some people that's way more tilting to lose to. Like, you like, you know, you lose it like, just like a mundane all in. Like, you lost a flip to some guy, and it's just like, it hurts so much more because it's a specific person. And you're like, oh, this right. fucking Right. Yeah, hurts. I mean, Porter, Porter's kind of like when back in the day, like, Tom Dwan would get, like, aces or kings, and they'd be like, 
this isn't allowed. Like, <laughs> he's not allowed to get real hands. That's yeah. how I feel about Porter. And then, like, you know, Bob is just as solid as it gets. Like, he's, like, he's going to own me, but at least let me, like, win the flips against him, please. Because, like, I'm not trying to play you know, bl- blind. Well, you, know who, you know who never lets me win a hand? You're fucking your boy ZJ over there. ZJ. Oh, that dude sucks. He, he's he, the He's like, you bet anything. He's like, well, I guess I'll click it back and see see if she got anything over there. No, he he's kind of a sicko. Um, he's he's definitely gotten like a lot better, and I absolutely hate playing against them because I feel like he knows my game better than I know my own game, and it's just like, dude, leave me alone. Like, I'm I'm losing every pot against everyone else. I don't need my boys taking my money. <laughs> so like, is he do? You, Cause you say you don't study a lot. Do you do you like study poker with him? Like who are like who's like your main poker like friend group? Uh, we we talk a ton of poker, but like he his studying is all like during the day, you know, because he plays for a living now, and it's like I want to do that, but like when I get home, it's like all right, you got twenty minutes. You need to eat, yeah. go to the bathroom, change. Set up the laptop and start clicking buttons. And it's like, when am I supposed to study? At like 2 o'clock in the morning? Like, it's just, it's not happening. But we, we talk through hands all the time. Um, you know, we don't, we play very differently, but like we understand each other's games. Um, but like, he's only been playing poker for like a few years. So like his, his evolution of his game has been pretty crazy. Um, I mean, I didn't start taking taking it like even remotely seriously until like probably like COVID. Um, but you know, I, I learned like quote unquote learned poker when I was like seven and you know, my dad taught me and you know, I thought he was, thought he was really good cause it's my dad, you know, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I found out he's a fish. Um, <laughs> but you know, it, see, it, it see takes a while. He's, he uh he's a parks guy like <laughs> he's a parks he, guy that's how that's, that's how most fish are they're parks guys. yeah he, he doesn't like the vibes at in philly very much but i'm like dude you just got a couple bad tables at rivers with like kind of some you know no, it's, the same reason, it's the same reason that parks if they would have tournaments kills it in philly live and the other ones don't old white people do not like going to Philly. They watch the news too much. They're like, we're not going. They're not driving there. They're like, oh, I watched the news that one time. Like, I'm not going to Philly. Like, parks will go to parks. It's like, you know, in the suburbs. There's something about the people at parks, though. It's like, you could be playing 1-3 at parks, and every guy there will be like, Oh, I usually play two five. I usually play five ten, and it's like every live game though. I thought that's like everywhere. Well, maybe I just I grew up playing at parks. But like, because that's like, like two minutes from my house. Oh, parks is no, you like where I like where like where I grew up or whatever. Like my mom's house or whatever was like two minutes from okay. parks. Okay. So like. Yeah, I mean, I feel like at Philly Live, at least the people. For the most part, the energy's good, the vibes are good, and like... I don't know, Philly Lies, I, mean, I feel like the opposite. Like, I play tournaments there, and there's like, the worst vibe. Like, it's like, the people, I got slow rolled by this old dude, hard as fuck. Like, like, the fucking... The this, tourney, I think, I the think the vibe... The there, like, the people are worse than the Borgata. Like, it is worse than the Borgata, actually. Philly Live is like, the most toxic place of all time. Like, wow. you, bet, you, yeah, I you guess three bet I, one guy, like, two times in a fucking, like hour and he's like losing his shit he's like like thinks you're coming after him and shit they think he's a fish like oh but those those kind of guys like i'll just chirp them i will chirp them to death like i i don't care at, at philly live like no once you, you chirp know them, that... like i don't know it's like uh, i don't know yeah i mean i don't i don't know if you're like very confrontational in live games but like if so like I actually got slow rolled. I only got slow rolled once there, and everyone at the table was like, "Oh, he didn't know. He didn't know." And I'm like, the guy "No, this guy was being a clear dick. Like he, like he called the floor on this other girl in the hand. Like, like it was the most. Like she, he called the clock, and it was like she had like thirty seconds. This guy jammed for like three x pot, 
And like right. she was like a very reasonable spot to take thirty seconds. And then he called the clock on her. And everyone's like Oh no, that that's absurd. And, and, I then, mean... and then like an orbit later, he like bet ten K, somebody jammed for twelve K, so he had two K more. He had a set and he took a minute and a half to call. Yeah, I mean that that's <laughs> outrageous. I my experiences there have been mostly positive, you know. I did have a guy threaten to kill me one time. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, he was like, oh, you don't know who I am. I'm part of the mob, this and that. And I'm like, dude, anyone that's openly saying they're part of the mob probably isn't going to do anything. <laughs> and like, when I sat down, I, I turned to the, the girl next to me and I'm like, I'll give it like two hours or less and this guy's getting carried out of here. And he was being, like, really rude to her, but she was, like, all about the action. So she was just, like, kind of taking it, but she was, like, super cool about it. And it, the guy, he, he kept winning every pot because he was, like, just 3x pot, like, 3x potting every time. And I'm like, all right, dude, it's, it's only going to take, you know, 20 more minutes and someone's going to call you. And then he lost the big pot, and then he just spiraled out of control. He had three glasses of wine, like, spilling all over the table. I'm like, yo, buddy, there's, like, paper towels up there. He's like, I don't need those. I'm like, well, there's wine all over the rail, so I think you kind of need something. Like, get it together. And uh, he, he lost a few pots to me and a few pots to this, like, crazy Asian guy. And he just went off he started snapping on people and the floor guy paul i'm like yo paul please let him stay like let him stay he's like all right all right Schmerd, I'll, I'll i'll give him one warning and he gave him a warning and five minutes later he had seven security guards carrying him out and he's just like cursing everybody out like i'm gonna kill you and i'm like yo buddy <laughs> take it easy like we're playing one three here because when i sat down he was like Oh, you think you're better than me? I'm like, uh... <laughs> like, did you no. even say anything to him? Just... No, I just sat down. I'm like, hey, how's it going, guys? He's like, you think you're better than me? I'm like, dude, I, I don't know you. I just sat down. He's like, you want to go play 2-5? I'm like, <laughs> no, not really. I want to play 1-3. He's like, oh, you, you just think you're better. I'm like, what is going on? Like... <laughs> It was so bizarre, but it was it was a pre I was solo that night, so I didn't have any backup. But this guy was off his damn rocker, and uh, yeah. And when he got carried out, it was like ten thirty. <laughs> like, it wasn't <laughs> late. <laughs> yeah, he was just getting started, but his night probably ended up somewhere that he didn't want to end up. <laughs> so, did so you, what? You have more fun? Would you? What would you say? You have more fun? You have more fun playing cast? You say you treat it more like a. Um, I would say if, like, I saw a tweet the other day, and I, it was, like, a really good point. It was, like, if you feel like you have to look at your phone at a live cash table, you're at a bad table. And, like, I couldn't agree more. Like, if you get a fun live cash table, I have so much fun if everyone's talking, you know, kind of like chirping each other giving each other shit like saying nice hand like trolling yeah, around oh my god. but like <laughs> if you get at a bad live table oh my god you might as well be playing the big five at home like it's just brutal yeah yeah i feel like i rarely look at my phone on the table there's, there's like so much like going on you know it says that, like tournaments yeah I, I mean I to... sweat people. there was one there was one it was like i felt like i was at a curb your enthusiasm episode like at the table, because, like, it was one of those things when the guy says, nice hand, or whatever, it was that guy, I don't know if you've seen him, like, on, like, Instagram, or whatever, I was, like, he's, like, some, like, giant, like, jack dude with a huge beard, or whatever, and he has, like, where's, like, UFC shit, I don't know, he's, like, I don't know, apparently he has a lot of Instagram followers, I don't know, but okay. <laughs> this guy he is a goober, but, like, so he, lo he won the all-in versus this other guy, and he, like, taps the table, and goes... Nice hand, but he won. Oh, and the no. And other guy got, like, super mad at him. And he's like, he's like, bro, like, you say that, like, you don't say it in that spot. You know? Right. He's like, yeah. whatever. So then they got all in again. And the guy won again. And he did the I fucking, did. he goes, nice hand. And 
man, like they were across the table and me and the guy next the guy me and the guy next to me just look at each other and we start like crying because it was the funniest thing i've ever seen yeah i, I mean I, my one buddy that plays in the home games like someone will lose the pot and i'll go ggs and i'm like D- <laughs> dude you don't you don't say that like one it's a cash game and two like the guy just lost a couple hundred bucks at 10 cent, 20 cent, and you're saying GGs. It's like, Sean, you got to figure this out. We've been playing for eight years together. Like, you can't be saying I, GGs. I, I love the little knee. I don't know. Yeah. He doesn't like playing... know he's needling. He has that's no the idea. Best, that's the best ones when the people don't even know they're needling. It's like, it, it makes it even better. Yeah, it's like, Sean, I, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> but, like... yeah, I mean – the I would say online cash is definitely my least favorite, like by a mile. Um online tournaments, you know how it is. Like when you're winning it's fun. When you're losing, if like you're playing well, it's like can be okay. But like when you go and lose like ten, fifteen sessions in a row, it's like that, oh, that's yeah, usually like, when I'm like, like oh, I'm, I'm gonna I mean, usually, I'm like, that's why I'm, like, not really about, like, the interstate. Like, everyone's like, oh, the interstate. Like, it'll definitely be better for, like, profitability, like, and I'll probably like it long term. But, like, right. the variance will be so much more when the fields are so, like, like, a P, oh, the and fields are so massive. small. Yeah, when they're massive, like, you're going to go on, you're going to go on way bigger downswings. And, like, right. when I lose, like, three days in a row, like, day three and I'm having, like, a mental breakdown because I fucking lost some dumbass flip, like, Bitch, like, you're going to lose sometimes. Like, who cares? Like, you know, right. like, it's going to be so much worse when it goes interstate. Like, yeah, you're going to make more money and you'll have, like, a sick fucking score every now and then for, like, 50K or whatever, probably more. But, like, you're still going to fucking get shit on a lot more. Like, Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm figuring, you know, if you can go, I mean, I went on, like, a little over 20K downswing in PA. If that's PA, Michigan, Jersey, Vegas, like... If that turns into 50, 60 K, I'm going to be like a wreck. Like, yeah, I'm sure like a lot of the PA, right? Like they have like their bankroll is set on like, you know, the PA variants. Like, oh, this like, you know, right. Like, that's probably mine. Like over the year, like four years or whatever, like in PA, my biggest downswing was probably around like 20 K, like overall yeah. like 50 K, but that was like more live poker involvement. In yeah. That. Like the, you had like one, like kind of rough WSOP, right? Like no, just, it was, this, it was like a summer. It was like the summer before the fall, where like WSP was in the fall. Oh, okay. Like did you play? Summer. Did you play WSOP that year or no? No, nah, nah. Last year was actually my first WSOP. I'm like. How many? Like you played like some of the win stuff. Did you play? Did you actually play the series? Yeah, I played the the win series the last two years. Did you play any of uh, WSOP? Like the. Like, did you play the main or anything? Yeah, I cashed the main last year. How was, uh, do you have any, like, crazy, uh, It's like, reg- I don't know, like, that's like, I don't have any interest in going this year. Like, the win, like, I'll probably go in December to the win again, because, like, it's fun to play. Like, the WSOP right. is, like, I don't know, I felt like I was just so underwhelming. You know, like, you go to the World Series of Poker, and it's just like, eh. Like, it's like, yeah. eh, it's like, eh, like, okay, like. Like, I'm going to play, like, ten-handed, like, high-rake tournaments, like, sitting around in, like, cigarette smoke. Like, oh, this is great. Like, this is going right. to be a great summer. Like, I got, like, a fucking 25,000-person field that, like, oh, maybe I'll run good and get fucking 16th and then be right. like, I don't know, like. What's your, what would you say is your most, uh, like, memorable live tournament experience? I don't know. I have a... My most memorable live tournament period was definitely when I thought I bubbled the Borgata 5K. Like, cause I, 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 cashed, it. I cashed it because I misread the board. Like, I stood up when the turn came and was, like, disgusted. Oh, shit. What'd you t- was it, like, two was, people busted at once? Or, like, how does that even work? No, no. Well, let's see what happened was I had aces, you know. I had aces on the stone nah, bubble. Really? And I, I have off of 20 bigs. I open. This older guy who has like 3x average chips, you know, flats the small blind. The flop comes like eight, six, or it comes eight, five, four. Okay. And the small blind just donk jams. 
All in. Mm. I have aces. And he's got pocket sixes. Um, and I decided I was like I didn't I, I called. I probably could have. I, I easily could have folded. Like there's people with like one big blind, you know, like everywhere. Right. But I was like, ah, fuck, I'm playing to win. Like I was in a lot of a good amount of makeup at the time too, and so I call. And, like, you have to wait, right? Like, you can't flip your hand over on the bubble. Yeah, I, I found that out the hard way one time. <laughs> so we're waiting on the bubble, and the guy, I'm like, oh, what do you, I was like, I got aces, what do you got? And he goes, I got a flush draw. He says he uh, got a flush draw, right? And there's, it's three black cards out. There's, there's, like, two spades and a club, right? And so he flips his hand over, and he has, what did he have? He had five, six five of clubs. So he had a, a hit a pair, a gut shot, and a backdoor flush draw. Oh, so he didn't have a flush draw. <laughs> no, he had a backdoor flush draw. But he said he had a flush draw. So in my, like, and then the turn was a club, which, like, so it was his, like, his flush, he, he got the flush draw on the turn. But in my mind, he said he had a flush draw. And I'm used to playing fucking four-color decks. And, like, I don't know. I, right. My mind already lost, right? So I was like, ah, oh, I fucking stood up. And I was like, ah. And there's like a bunch of people standing around me, right? They're just trying to see if I bubble and like the poker news fucking reporter. Right. And, like, and then like the river comes out, a random card, you know, like a red card. And the guy next to me is like, nice hand. And I'm like, wait, did I win? <laughs> I win. And then, yeah, that was easily the most memorable hand. I would, uh, I would say for me, it's probably. I played a live horse tournament on my birthday in Vegas, and at midnight, we were, like, approaching the bubble, and I had the whole table, and they were, like, singing happy birthday to me as I'm sitting there with, like, two big bets, and I'm like, this is awesome. Like, they actually genuinely want me to catch this tournament, and I, like, spun it up, and, like, Ben Lang was in the tournament. I don't know what the hell he was doing. He's, he's in every tournament. Like, if you go to a poker tournament... Doesn't matter he's there. what location, he's, he's Doesn't at Doesn't matter time. what the buy-in is, what the tournament is, he's there. But, yeah, when I when I min-cashed that, or I, I think I got, like, 14th or something, but it was, like, we're standing in line, me, my dad, and two of my buddies, and we're standing in line looking up the rules on how to play horse as we're about to register. <laughs> we're like, wait, what's the R stand for again? Like, what are we playing? And half the dealers there didn't even know how to deal the games and i'm like dude i've only played this game twice online and they deal it for me so i don't know what you're looking at the wrong guy i can't help yeah. you i'm sorry but i would say that that was really a really fun tournament at the absolute shithole of the rio and then the welcome back tournament at rivers i got like eighth and the second i stood up they chopped seven ways, and I was like, "Fuck!" That, that's like, a, I, that happened to me. That happened to me at live, but it was more because I, I was denying the chop. I was like, "I'm not chopping," and then like, yeah, I mean, the second I, I, I wouldn't have in sixth or whatever, they all snap chop. I didn't really. I wouldn't have even chopped, but no one talked about it, and it was just like right as I busted. Like, oh, I that guy up fucking busted. Counter. We're chopping. Now. I, I walked up to the counter, I turn around, and they're all standing up, and I'm like, what just happened? And I came back, like, the next week, and he was like, yeah, they all chopped for 6 k each. And I'm like, what? Like, it was a $250 tournament, and I cashed for, like, 1700 and they all snap chopped for 6 k And I'm like, ugh. And I, I ran home that day because I saddied into whatever the main was for the weekend. And I ran home and lost to quads my first hand, and I'm like, poker's just too sick. Like, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah poker, poker really plays tricks on your mind with how you run. You know, like, like uh, you make two good plays, you're like, ah, oh, I'm so smart. And you're like, oh, yeah. ball down, you're like, ah, oh, fuck. What am I? Oh, doing? I mean, I, I, I shot took both the five hundreds the other night. You know, I busted both of them, but I bluffed Bob in one hand. I felt like I was on top of the world. Like, I bluffed him on the river when he bet. He bet river, and I bluffed, and I'm like, this might be the greatest hand of my life. And then, you know, I lost probably 20 minutes later, but, I mean, it 
just one hand can really change how you feel about your game. You're like, that was electric. Like, got him. <laughs> and uh, he, I didn't see how he did, but he probably, probably FT it because you know it's Bob. But um, how, who would you say is the most interesting person you've met in the PA community? Interesting. Like, that's like on top. That's like. Because I feel like a lot, one, people take that word very differently. Like, people, the meaning of interesting. Uh, all right, let's think of a different word. Uh, like. I don't know. Like, I assume you've met a decent amount of people at this point. Oh, yeah, that's why, like, PA, like, oh, yeah, I, like, like, I feel like everyone knows each other in PA, like, thanks to, like, the Discord and, like, well, now, like, you know, we play enough live now, also. Right. Yeah, like, I, I've met probably, like, I want to say, like, 20 to 25 people. Like, when I played the 1K, it was, uh, it was me, Nunley, Bob, and Baby Bob uh, at the <laughs> same Bob. table. Baby Bob. And I'm like, what the hell's going on here? Like, I'm shot taking a 1K. All these clowns, I play every night online, and we're all sitting at the same table. And of course, like I bust the Nunley, and I'm like, "What the fuck? Like this guy's yeah, taking yeah, he's plenty one of, the of my bust money." Too, that I to you a little bit. It's just like, and I busted, and then ZJ went and took my seat, and I think he busted to one of those clowns too. <laughs> like, I was just like, "This, this is." I mean, it was a lot of fun. I honestly felt like the feel was super soft compared, like for. Not that table, but yeah, relatively, yeah. like, when I played the Rivers 1K, I had, I had, yeah, the uh, play live 1Ks are definitely softer than the Rivers ones for my Yeah, opinion. this was, this was a multi-day 1K, but the, the Rivers one I had, like Joe River. McKeon, it was Joe McKeon, uh, no I'm saying, JMC, Dead to Solve, a couple Jersey regs. And then, like, Brian Altman. Like, it was just, like, pros. <laughs> Brian Altman at Rivers? What? I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Like, what am I doing at this table? <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, the one, those random one-day 1Ks they have are pretty, like... Because the one, I played the one that, like, got, like, fifth in or whatever. I remember I showed up and I was like, who are these people? Like, usually, like, you go to a poker tournament in, like, the Northeast. Yeah. Like, you see the same people every time. And I was like, I had never seen any of these people in my life before, like... Yeah, so I was there. I was there, there that there. night. I think I played like a thirty-hour cash session that day. Um, I remember sweating that FT a bit. The, oh yeah, I think I was like, well, yeah, like I met you briefly there. Yeah, they chopped for like they chopped at like four o'clock in the morning. I'm like, holy hell. Yeah, I remember like, the, the they... one guy. He was, the one guy got was getting very mad at me on the bubble because I was, you know, I had a chip lead on the bubble, and <laughs> he was not having it. <laughs> he was not having it. Do they pay you out in cash? Yeah, they don't even like give you a receipt. It's like weird. Like Philly Live, like I feel like they don't do it. Uh... I mean, I feel like you should be. You should have to sign something, right? You cash for over five k, right? Yeah, but I bought in for a k, so I was like, I like I got away. I was the last spot that I didn't get a tax form. Okay, but if if you were the next place, they would have made you sign yeah, something. Yeah, because like, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because like, I can't really picture walking out of there with twenty grand. Like that's just insane to me. Like in cash. <laughs> like. Yeah. I also like so, because what's it called? Because um, John, my boyfriend, when he came to Vegas in the summer, he got an Uber to the airport. And I guess he was, like, talking to poker with the Uber driver. And the Uber driver's like, yeah, don't go to Philly Live. He's like, he's like. The guy in Vegas said that? No, no, the Uber driver that was driving him to the airport. Okay. Oh, and he I was like, he was like, oh, he's like, yeah. He's like, he was like, my brother does, does bad shit there. And they're like, <laughs> he's basically telling that his, his brother, like, just goes to Philly Live and robs people. And that's what that oh, jeez. So... <laughs> I guess it really depends on, like, it, it's interesting to hear because it's like, if someone said, where's your favorite place to play? I mean, I'm picking Philly Live. And Philly Live's like, also the worst for, like, if you want to smoke weed, like, by far. Like, if you want to smoke weed, you got to go 
all the way outside and then you gotta go out it's like to the front like, right you know, i mean people at rivers just rip it in that little like patio yeah, session that there. patio where it's just like poker people you know like it's so chill they got like seats and at the Borgata, you got like right outside the thing on the side like yeah that that's where i met uh i met shallow out there and i like i like shook his hand i'm like bobby schmerta nice to meet you he's like fuck you <laughs> i'm like <laughs> Like, oh, thanks, Shallow. It was, like, me, Pauly Cars, and Shallow. And he was just like, fuck you guys. <laughs> but, like, I, I think I met, like, Full Metal Poker, who I actually haven't seen in forever. He was there. Um, they were co Oh, I met Soccer Dad there. I'm like, that was the time I found out that he wasn't a dad. I'm just like, oh, so you're just an absolute troll? <laughs> like... <laughs> He's like, yeah, I don't have kids. <laughs> like, no well, shot. Yeah, it's like, this is his username. You know, he's got a... Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, it just, like, caught me off guard. And then I, I play with him again at Philly Live. But it was just, like, like talking to him, I think, got me more excited for Tournament of Champions. And then, yeah, you know... He they just... Yeah, he won it, what, two years ago? Yeah, and it's like... Like, I'm watching him beat himself up in, like, a 360 that he's on, like, bullet three. The whole table shit-talking him that he's a fish. And I'm like, dude, don't listen to these clowns. You just won 200K at Tournament Champions. Like, th these guys don't even know what, like, an opening range is. Like, they have no idea what's going on. And he's just sitting there, like, kicking himself because he bubbled, like, the morning flight, played the night flight. And I'm like, dude, oh, yeah, just that's... have fun with it. That, those are always the worst when you play have to play both. That's like a Borgata thing I haven't done since Borgata in a while. You yeah, play the day it can play? be. It can be brutal. Play? So what are what are your like? Do you have any goals in poker? Like, what's your big? Like you said, you don't I play. I want to. Uh, so I mean, one goal I've always had is to play. Like I want to make a televised FT. And unfortunately, that requires playing tournaments that are probably outside of my bankroll. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, I probably sell action or satty into something. But I definitely want to play some sort of televised poker at some point, whether it's a live stream, cash game, whatever, tournament. I mean, the Borgata uh -oh. has a live stream. They have like a 2-5 live stream coming up. Yeah, like even something like that would be fun, but like... Uh, making a tournament FT that's live stream has definitely been like a, a goal of mine at some point. Um, I mean, I obviously everyone wants to make a deep run live at some point. Like my biggest, I've got like four caches that are like 1,600, 1,700, but it's like compared to online, like it's not even close. So I, I definitely want to make a big run, but it's not like it's like a goal. It's just like, Obviously, everyone wants to make a big run yeah. at some point, but like my deepest runs in multi days are all in like two fifties, and they like kind of crap out. But like I haven't made any FTS in a multi day tournament, so that's definitely like up there. And then, um, you know what I, mean? Like I mean, at some point, like specific like monetary goals or like oh I want to do this. Uh, or, like, it's it's weird. It's like. Like, I feel like it's dangerous to make goals in terms of profit. Like, obviously, everyone wants to make more money. But, like, I feel like I've matured a lot in my thought process of poker in the sense that, like, before it's like, okay, I want 20K this year. Like, I'm going to shoot for 30 or 40. And it's like, it doesn't really work like that. Like, yeah, yeah. you could play a whole year and be break even and be like, oh, well, wow, that, that sucked. But, like, what did I learn, you know? what was the what was the journey like like this year alone i mean it's been kind of a a rocky start just like an up and down pretty big swings like i'm up like a couple grand but you know it's April, not really on pace for where i want to be but like you know i'm still trying to work on my game it's just like finding the time for it because if it's like do you want to go rip you know 10 tables or do you want to study and it's like ah uh, We'll study later. Let's just rip 10 tournaments and then... Yeah. So how many do you play, like, 10 tables at a time? Like, is that, like... Yeah, yeah. I, I have a 32-inch monitor, and I usually... If I'm playing... If I'm playing less than, like, 8, I feel like I start to get, like, a little itchy. I'm like, let me just try to triple barrel bluff. You know, I, I know I'm a nit, but, you know... 
Once oh, in a while, I yeah, do I, block. I've seen some Bobby Shmurda bluffs. Frankie sent me a hand the other day. I was like, excuse me, officer. Wait, who was it? Frankie sent me a hand. I don't know. Some hand. Like, I don't even know. He, he, well, first of all, I was like, bro, I, I would have I believed you on the turn and folded for the record. <laughs> The record, but then he made a full house on the river anyway, so that was not. Oh shit! I, I know what you're talking about. That was a tragedy. <laughs> yeah, I like. I think my sweet spot is like eight to ten. Um, I'll max out at twelve, just because that's what I can fit on the screen. But if I'm playing twelve, it's like I'll play from twenty dollar tables to like two fifties. Um, Thursday night, I missed Tuesday, Wednesday, so I was like, all right, let's just fire these 500, see what happens. You know, got off to a good start and then kind of punted in the Stars one, and then MGM, I kind of forget what happened. But I, uh, I started by playing, like, one table at a time and, like, fired the big 30 with, like, $37 in my account and, like, shipped that, and then I was like, all right, like, we got a little bit of a bankroll, like six, seven hundred, back when the tournaments were massive, mm -hmm. and um, kind of went from there. I mean, stars is stars can be cruel sometimes, but it's probably my favorite uh, favorite site. But yeah, I'm usually around eight to ten tables. What are you playing, like six to eight? I I'm way like I'm like I play way. Well, first of all, I'd be smoking too much weed or whatever, but like. <laughs> I don't know, like, yeah, I play, like, six, seven, like, once I get to, like, eight, I feel, like, so rushed, and then, like, and then I'm, like, I get way too much in my head about dumb shit, like, if I get too deep in my time bank, I'm, like, oh, they're gonna know I'm bluffing, because I took too long, and it's, like, bitch, I got, like, ten tables, like, you know, like, they're not right. gonna think that, but, like, in my mind, I'm, like, oh, I have to give up now, because I took too long, and it's, like... Yeah, I, I don't, I don't generally tank much, so I feel like it's definitely a timing tell if I'm tanking, it's I'm like, like... Oh, I overthink, like, you know, I'm not, like, you know, fucking Casey levels of tanking, but, like... Right, because, like, like, when you really think about it, you're like, oh, wait, he also has ten tables, or she also has yeah, ten yeah, tables, yeah. and it's like, they, they didn't notice that I'm tanking, like, we're all just goofing around out here, clicking buttons, but... But I do feel like certain people, like, some recreational players, like, if you act quickly on the river, like, if you act quickly, like, and just bet, like, a third on the river, super quickly, they fold, but if you take, like, five seconds and then bet a third, they call you every oh, time. Yeah, that that's fair, and, you know, most recs are probably one tabling, too, so they're, like, locked in, just staring at the screen, like, ready for you to do something crazy. <laughs> But, like, I started watching, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, like, Giraffe Ganger a lot recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And He's the best streamer by far. It's, like, not even remotely close. Oh, it's not even close. He could lose 40K, and his energy level is still 10x anybody else's. And it's, like, you would think this guy's on, like, all these crazy drugs. And he's, like, nope, I'm stone cold sober, just absolutely owning you fools, like, He's like, I'm too rich. Fuck, I see him. Oh, and <laughs> like he he doesn't. He literally does not care. That's and he's I... got like 17 cats and like four goats, a couple of horses. Like he's just like a goofy ass dude, and he happens to be like one of the best players he's in the like, world. Yeah, like, I, like I'm so happy he's true. Cause it's like, cause like I like I like love like Twitch poker, but I feel like there's not a lot of like people streaming that like I can really like tolerate for more than like. Five, that they can really keep my attention to many like the thing where you're like looking at your phone where like if you turn on most streams like three minutes in i'm like opening a new tab and like switching you know like there aren't many yeah. that can really like hold your attention where you're like like one they're good enough where you like want to see how they play but then they also need to be entertaining and that's like super hard to do yeah i watch i watch a lot of lex um he's definitely like like gotten a little more uh like, he doesn't play as much anymore because he just had two kids. So, like, you know, he's in and out of streaming. And, like, I watched Spraggy and Finn a little bit. But, like, once Dropganger played that, uh, I forget what it was. I think it was a 10K FT when he won a million dollars on live yeah, yeah, stream. And I'm like, really. this guy is a legend. Like, he's playing the biggest FT in, like, online history. And he's live streaming it. Like, he does not care. And he was playing, like, any two. For, like, the whole FT, he was just kind of, like, oh, I got chip lead, fuck ICM, I'm going to own these fools. And, like, 
I, I really respect him for just really not caring what anyone thinks, and he just absolutely goes ham. Yeah, uh, yeah but just like, what I, bet size are who's in 6.9? Who cares? You know? Yeah, he goes 6.9, 16.9, 26.9. Yeah. Or or min bet. I love when he min bets. He goes, min bet, min bet, just starts screaming, and he'll yeah. bet, like, one big in a six-bet pot into, like, 50 bigs, and it'll work, and he'll just go berserk, and it's, like, just so funny. But I, I've tried to work, like, I've been working some min bets in recently, and it's it's kind of fun because it's like, good luck figuring out what the hell's going on here. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to click one bit and see what happens. Like, am I bluffing? Maybe. If you want to click it back, I might just click it back on you. Like, I don't know. It's kind of fun. Like, I feel like when you learn just even the smallest thing in poker, it just opens up a lot of, like, interesting spots and makes it like fun again because like if you just play your straightforward way for like months it's like ah oh, it's getting kind of dull that's why i don't like cash games cash games like i mean especially like online cash like it's, if you're doing the same thing every time it's like like in online tournaments there's never the same spot like like oh like, yeah like, it, but like, like like cash like playing how you're supposed to play is not fun but like getting out of line in cash games is still fun like i just went down to texas last week and I was playing any two, three bet, four bet, didn't matter. I was just, I was like, I heard, I'm like, action down here is good, right? Like, when in Rome, we got a battle. Let's, let's click yeah. some buttons. And like, the the vibes down there were great. But like, the one, like, I called the one guy a goober, and the dealer was like, no name calling. I'm like, are you serious? Like, Billy Live, they curse you out and like call you a piece of shit. Here, I called the guy a goober, and he looked like Santa Claus, and he was laughing, and she yelled at me. Then I went out to the bars, and I came back to the poker room, and I saw the guy again, and I'm like, what's up, you fucking goober? And he just starts cracking up. Like, he was there for, like, 12 hours just having a good old time. So so how was the Texas poker? Was it profitable? Um, I went up, like uh just like a couple hundred i only played one day and it was like was three it? hour session bars and then like five or six hour session and i was i was playing terrible terrible poker but i was having so much fun and like i called a river bet for like 150 with a pair of twos correctly and it was just like so thrilling and the guy was like that's not a good call sir that's a great fucking call. And I'm like, it's a bad call, but I'm hammered, so don't try to bluff me ever again. So it wasn't ever, <laughs> like, like, what all the people talk about, like, Texas wasn't much, it was that much different than, like, Rivers or Philly Long? Uh, not where I went. Like, I was forcing action, so I was kind of, like, making the table get more out of line. But I played at Philly Live tables where I'm not convinced anyone's ever played a hand in their life. So it's like... I wasn't at, like, one of the big card houses. It was called 101. But you um you get $40 in food credit every four hours, which is awesome. And if oh, you want to drink... That's a lot of food credit. Four yeah, it's, like, you could get steaks, like... Uh, I got, like, shrimp fried rice and a salad. Like, you could get... The menu was massive. And then you can also get anything from the open bar... And you just, like, tell the dealer, like, hey, I, I, I need a waitress. And I was like, this feels weird. But I was like, can you call the waitress? And they just go, service! <laughs> they come running over, and they're like, what do you need? I'm like, this is pretty elite. And then every uh, every dealer change was a double board PLO bomb pot. So that, that was a lot of fun. I wish we could get that going at, at Philly Live, but people usually uh, get a little upset. I, I, I want, like, just a double board tournament like no limit but like it's like a oh, that would be game, not not a bomb pot like you still got to open like you still have an opening range and you can three bet and the rest everything normal just two boards like a split pot game you know i i would definitely play it i'm trying to think of like i can't imagine convincing anyone over the age of like 50 to play it well, but no, like people like oh, well, like this change people like change they're like ah fucking you can't be check raising. What are you doing? Right. Well, the dealers would also probably hate it, but well, yeah. the act would be insane. 
Um, what is what's like the biggest cash game you've played? No. I've never really gotten. I like yeah, like I have biggest cash game I've played is two five. Like I haven't played. Yeah. I've been meaning to go played like the ten ten at parks or whatever on Tuesday, but like. A, I'm too lazy. It's far. And, like, the online schedule's too good on Tuesday. And, like, right. I hate cash. Like, I hate cash. Like, I don't know. When I lose at cash, like, I, like, it's my, brain, my brain does not accept it. Like, I feel like such a piece of shit when I lose at cash. Like, I feel, because, like, cash games, I feel like so much more your fault. Like, tournaments, like, my brain, like, knows, like, at least, like, hey, we're going to lose a lot because tournaments are stupid as fuck. But, like, right. like cash games is, like, I don't know. You have so many big blinds, like. Like, it's also instant. It's instant pain. It's like you just lost the hand, and your choices are get up and walk away or take actual cash out of your pocket and put it on the table. And it's like uh, but when just I, such like uh, – When I would always like play cash, I would always buy like extra chips at least because I didn't yeah, want to. Yeah, yeah. I, I usually try to have a whole That's buy and just sitting like behind me. waiting to, for more chips. You can't even play the next hand. So it's like, nah, like I always have more chips. Like I have – the maximum right. of lines I want, and like, but like, I haven't played cash literally, like, since before the pandemic. I used to play at parks and stuff. Like, even before before I came out, like, I was like a shit one two reg, one three reg or whatever. But I mean, I still am a shit one three reg, but it's a lot of fun. Cause like, it's like some people just take themselves so seriously, and it's like, yeah. guys. Oh, I would always. I would, literally, I would always be. It's a low shit, shit too. I would like, like I'm always like reeking of weed. Like I would always, and this is like even before it was like you know legal. You know, like I'd be like a fucking right. at parks, and just like smoking bowls in my car like a fucking idiot. Like, <laughs> yeah, I usually but, just drink for for most sessions, but sometimes I'm like, maybe I should like show up sober and not drink and play cash, and then I'm like, oh, this is super super boring. Like. I'm not, like, I, like, I never really, I drink, like, never. I'm not a big drinker. I mean, I yeah, drink, uh, the like, next uh, day can be brutal, but, like, in the moment, it's a lot of fun for me, and then, you know, I, I think I'll probably grow out of it at some point, like, maybe in, like, four or five years, but for now, <laughs> we're just gonna keep doing it. Yeah, like, I don't, like, if I go out to, like, dinner or something, like, if other people are drinking, like, I'll drink, but, like, yeah, I'm also not, like, I don't go outside that much either. <laughs> just so, like, so sleeping like, out at home. <laughs> like last year, I played a lot of live poker. Like you know, I did like more traveling. And this year, I was just like, like live poker is stupid. Like like it's so expensive playing live poker. Like traveling. Oh, and... it, it it's also like, you know, you get hyped because you made a day two. You just spent twelve hours playing. Okay. You go home. You drive back to the casino, and then you lose a flip, and it's like. All right, well, that was a good weekend. Uh, I'm down a thousand bucks, and I got nothing to show for it. And it's like, it's just brutal. Like, I want to play more live, but like, it, I think if I was a pro, it'd be a little more enjoyable. But when you work five days in a row, go and leave from work and play a live bird, and then lose a flip on day two, and you're down money, it's like, now I gotta go back to work tomorrow. Like it's just so brutal. I did, this is brutal driving. I don't know. Like live poker is just like, and also just because you get so much in like live. We live in PA or whatever. Like we have, we can get so much in buy, even though they're not like the highest buy-ins. Right. Like, you can still get a lot of buy-ins. You know, it's not like there's like a lot. Oh. Of yeah, I mean, it, I'm not even playing on WSOP anymore, and I'm still firing probably okay. 15 tournaments a night. Yeah, they only have, like, one tournament a day anyway. Right, and it's just, like, I don't know. I, I, I miss when I would get home, fire the 30, the 55, the 109, and it was, like, 5K guarantee, 7.5K, 12K. Like, now it's, like, okay, do you want to fire a $200 circuit or do you want to fire a $10 mystery? And I'm, like, Neither, not really. Like, <laughs> it's like I, I've played so, so many circuits what, that are just like. What's your favorite um, tournament in PA? Oh, uh, I would say the hundred dollar Thursday thrill. The hundred dollar Thursday thrill. That is a like a random pick. It's so fun. It's just like, 
it the the two fifty obviously bigger buy and like potential for more money, but like hundred is my favorite. It's your sweet spot level where like yeah like yeah where it's, it's enough like, where it matters, but like not enough where you're like worried about it. Right, like fifty dollars like is enough, but there's not a fifty thrill, the thirty thrill like I'll probably punt. So it's like the hundred thrill, you know, you can you can ship that for a decent chunk of money, and it's like. You can also put four bullets in pretty easily and be like, all right, well, you know, is what it is. I would say th this Seagoat, I mean, yeah, that's nice. probably my, my most bullets fired in any tournament is probably the Seagoat because it's just like, it doesn't matter if there's 30 seconds left. You have to rebuy. You just have to do it. Like, it's such a good tournament. And I wish every site had a $100 that started at 7 o'clock. Like, it's just so simple. Yeah, like I mean, they used to have the nightly stars. Rip the night. I mean, the nightly stars used to be was a staple. Right, and the nightly was a the nightly was a a hundred before. I would probably play that like I would try to satty in, but that was before I was comfortable firing hundreds. So like, it went to a fifty once I was comfortable firing a hundred, and I'm like, damn, this kind of sucks. Like. I, I think I'm, like, break-even in that tournament. I might even be down money in the 50, and it's just, like, that, I mean, you could put six bullets into that and not even blink, and you're like, shit, that was 300 bucks. Like, yeah. that kind of sucked. But, I mean, what, what's your favorite tournament? Favorite oh, tournament? Other, other than the $200 bounty, that doesn't count. Yeah, $200 bounty builder. Um, my favorite two tour my favorite tournament's probably two tournaments. Well, you got the Night Predator. Global. On mobile? Yeah, but it's like at 1030, the 110, like, 6K right. PKO, because everyone's just over it. Like, I don't, I only play it if I'm in a good mood and I have, like, ta like more tables, because it's just, like, so many people at tournament are just over their fucking session. They're just over it. Oh, yeah. They're just like, oh, here you go. Would you like my chips? And it's a PKO, so nobody folds, and it's just, like, easily my best ROI on the tournament. And then okay. my, my That's good to know. My second favorite is probably the Blitz. That's the 218? Yeah, the 218 nightly. I love a nice little max late reg at 9.28 p.m., you know? Like, ooh, give me, give me my 20 big blinds. Like, let me is, is that the these secret? to death. Is that the secret that Global just max late reg everything? <laughs> well, you can't rebuy, and, like, folding feels bad. And, like, they have <laughs> it. So, like, you just max late reg. Like, you know? And then when they jam 15 bigs, like, you're like, oh, you got it. Like, it's not like, no. Yeah, I guess you just, you kind of oversimplify everything. It's just, like, much easier to play. Also, like, when there's a freeze out, it's a freeze out. So, like, it's just, like, max. Right. Like, you're supposed to max lay reg because, like, so many of the field's are already out. It's not like. Yeah, but, like, there's also, I guess the other side of it would be the fact that, like, the absolute donkeys are probably not there anymore. Yeah, but and still it's poker, like, everyone's is, no one's good. Okay, that's also kind of true. I, like, I, I, I low-key feel like so many regs told their friends that global, nobody was good, so it's gotten, like, a little bit stronger, at least. Uh, like, I don't may, know. Maybe, they told maybe their that's friends, just... but the friends are retarded, too. Like, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? Like... Yeah, I, I don't know. I think I'm just, like... I mean, my global graph for the last two months has just been straight down, but that's probably just me blasting off when I shouldn't be and, like, not believing people. No, but yeah, plenty of people say, I don't know. I always just run pure. I, like, it's kind of just, like, I run pure on global, you know? I get it in. Like, it's like the anti-stars. Like, it's like if I got, like, three outs, like, it's coming. It, don't, it doesn't it's matter. It's coming. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I went ACR, Iggy... Then I fired on Global, and then I came back to Iggy a little bit, and then PA went, like, legal, and I was like, thank God, like, get me off these sites. Like, I, I don't even know when I was up or down on Iggy, but, like, I had, like, I was playing, like, $7, $10 tournaments and, like, losing everything, and I, I like, self-banned myself. And then I sent an email the next day, and I was like, I was just kidding. Like, can you reverse that? They're like, yeah, sure. I'm like, what the hell? Like, you definitely shouldn't do that. Like, the point of a ban is to keep it there. Like, I clearly had a problem. Like, what are you doing, Iggy? <laughs> You're just like, actually, 
But that, that, that was a fake email. Like, can I get that? Oh, I was like, yeah, I didn't really mean it. Like, I, I was just kidding. And they were like, oh, okay. But, like, I feel, I mean, I hate playing against Groom, but I feel bad for him. Like, he self-banned for sports betting. And they were like, all right, yep, you're wiped. Like, here, here's a year, gone forever. The funniest was still that one guy, the fucking, he, <laughs> the fucking nah, they tweeted that, like, um, he was addicted to tournaments. Oh, my boy, yo, dude, yeah, yeah. I, he, he, he's a legend, he, dude, I mean, you got Rampage, who's, like, one of the biggest names in, like, social media poker, and he's, like, I'm on a downer, I'm gonna jump off a bridge, like, I'm gonna kill myself, and then you got yo, dude, <laughs> and he's, like, man, poker's so fun, I'm so addicted to tournaments, and they just <laughs> snap banned him, and it's, like, permanent, like, what the <laughs> And it's also like he's like guys like I I had an addiction problem. It's not the poker, and he's like I got over that, and they just snap banned him. And it's like he's he's tried to fight the Kevin yeah. to support, and I'm like the guy's playing twenty dollar ABI. Let him back in. Like what the fuck? Like he's got a job. He's he's chilling. Like let him play. So shout out, yo, dude. He got done dirty, but he just played his first time in four months the other night on Thursday. Um, yeah, I mean that that's just brutal. Um, if I were to get banned from Stars, like I would be so distraught. Like I'll be so sad because, like, I mean that's half my volume, maybe more. I've probably played like I don't know a couple thousand tournaments on there. You were talking about also your home game. So, like, is your home game, like, a bunch of, like, who's in your home game? Like, your... So, your it's... Friends uh, growing it's, up. We got, like, some poker stars. Yeah, it's people. it's mainly, like, um, guys that I played baseball with growing up. So, like, I've known these guys for 15 years. And it's, like, we have... I would say we've probably had 25 people total play in the last seven to eight years. But it's mainly, like, the same like six to seven guys that kind of hold it down and then a random assortment of people that flow through. But like, we, we've never bumped it up. We bumped it up once from 10 cent, 20 cent to 2550. And the game got tighter. And I'm like, all right, let's just like go back to 10 cent, 20 cent. But like the initial buy is 30 and then it'll go 50, a hundred, like 150, 200, you got guys buying in for three, 400 at the end of the night. And it's like, we're pretty much playing one, three at that point. Like it doesn't even matter. Um, but for the most part, all the guys that play, like the majority of the poker they play is at this home game. Like they're not playing they're online. Not, right? poker stars. not much. I mean, one guy's name is uh casino two one five. I don't know if you've ever seen him, but he, he plays in our home games and uh, just like a couple other guys play sporadically, but for the most part, like this is this is their main source of poker. So we there's like three to four like pretty good regs that like have picked up on the game and gotten a lot better. And then there's like you know three to four absolute whales that know their whales and just yeah. you know blind shoves, river bet like eight x pot like. All of good river x eight x pot. Huh? Yeah, I, I, I mean, the, the one pot last night was a three-bet pot. The flop comes out, the guy checks, and the guy goes, I'm all in. We're playing 10 cent, 20 cent, and they're 180 deep, like, an hour into the game. He goes all in, the guy folds, and he just shows four high, and it's like, why the fuck did you just do that? Like, it's going to work. That's, like, that's, the, that's the live poker thing. Like, you show up, you bluff one time, you show it. Like, if somebody shows a bluff in live poker, like – you know they're done bluffing for the day. Like it was like, <laughs> like they showed the one bluff. They hit they hit their daily quota. There will be unless no they're more. unless they're drinking. I mean, no, but, but I'm saying like in, like if you're at the Borgata or something. Oh somebody, yeah, yeah. Somebody level two shows a bluff. They're gonna have it every other fucking time. Like. Oh, in tournaments, yeah, for sure. I mean, I I made a call. I made a call in a, a live tournament like a, a month or two ago where I literally had a pair of fives on the river and the guy bombed it. And I'm like, no one ever, ever, ever bluffed here, but I'm going to be a fishing call. 
And I call, and the whole board is red. And he flips over two red cards, and I'm like, I've got to be boned here. Like, there's no way I win. He's like, I got king high. I'm like, that might be the best call I've ever made, but it's probably terrible because no one bluffs. And it's like... But people it, do bluff. It's, it's just that, like, because people bluff, but they don't bluff, like, you know, like, oh, like, based off their hand selection, you know? It's not like, oh, oh I have this card. bluff made no sense. His bluff it, made zero it's sense. It's like, I haven't bluffed in three hours. It's time to right. bluff. You know, yeah, I mean, like, he had, he had King like, 10 on, like, an 8-high board, no blockers, nothing, and just went all in, and I'm like... Yeah, the blockers aren't really... It's more, yeah, it's a timing thing. It's more like, I haven't bluffed in three hours, I gotta bluff right. now. But, right. You know, like... So, what's, what's the plan for for uh, tomorrow? You said you're gonna scratch the 2500s. Is there a 1K tomorrow? No, I mean, I might. I don't know. We'll see. Like, I could easily win tournament tonight and be like, oh, I'll play 2500. Oh, are you playing, you're playing Scoop tonight? Yeah, I'll play tonight. I'll play it. I like Saturday. The, the Blitz is a PKO on Saturday. Ooh, I didn't know that. Interesting. And hmm. So, yeah. And then the cir- there's the circuit and the MGM. Like, with all three going on, like, I'll play. What's the, uh, what's the circuit tonight? Not uh, that I'm going to play, but... I think it's a 320. Um, okay. Something of something. Yeah, yeah so- I mean... <laughs> I should have won the 320 on Thursday, but your boy ZJ got me just ripping uh, fucking 70 big blinds, you know? Like, on Thursday? I, I'm i pretty sure he got smoked in that for a couple bullets on Thursday. <laughs> I saw, like, he was chip leading. He got, I got, like, 11th. He got, like, 9th or something, I think. But he uh, okay. chip lead once he, he took all my chips. Yeah, he takes my chips a lot. But like the the main he's like the main person I talk to for poker. Um, Law RK I talk to a lot, but he okay. he just took like a four month break. Yeah, and, I, was gonna say, I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, I think he's gonna make his return soon. Um, and then uh, one of the first people I talked to was Pauly Cards, but he doesn't play much anymore. Yeah, um, like he, he won the, he won the main, and then the P, the PA main, then he just like went to the sunset. Yeah. He's uh he he lives not too far away from me. He's in Northtown. We we hang out once in a while, but yeah, he doesn't he doesn't play much anymore. So it's mainly just DJ and then, you know, Law's gonna get back in the streets and then you know, talk to Swag once in a while and you know, troll around with Roka and Fugly and those uh, what, goons. What was up with your guys fantasy team? Your fantasy team's getting smoked. Dude, we jinxed Bob. Bob's the GOAT. And Buddy hasn't put up any points. Like, I feel like he hasn't really been playing, though, that much. He only played, like, you know, he's too rich. He's, he's, not, play, he's not getting any of your points in the $10 one-day like, oh, chicken this, cheeseburger spinner. Like, he's like, Goof's not even worth playing. But, yeah, I mean, I, I Groon severely overpaid for me. And I was like, dude, like, someone bid 28 points or 27. And then Groon's chirping in the chat. And then he goes, oh, Schmurter's on the clock? Yeah, let me get him. 29 and i'm like <laughs> dude like what why am i tw- i was the 11th most expensive player i'm like what's going on and then like opening weekend he's like dude where are you at why aren't you playing i'm like i'm in texas he's like you're <laughs> fucking kidding i'm like nah dude i'm in texas i'm missing at least friday saturday and i'm probably gonna feel like shit sunday so i don't think i'm gonna fire so i miss friday saturday sunday went to the gym wednesday he's like dude what are you doing and then Shallow went for, like, 26. So Groon spent 55 points between the two of us and didn't pay for himself. It's like, dude, you're worth, like, 85. Like, just buy yourself, you clown. Yeah, I didn't do it. I, I was smart enough. I was super close to, like, doing one with Frankie where, like, I was like, oh, I, I, like, the FOMO was getting to me and the PA scoop. But then... Right. Little, but then literally, like, the first night, I was like, oh, I'm so glad I didn't do any of this. Because, like, I, like, that's I, that's the thing I love about poker. Like, on poker, because, like, the freedom of, like, you know, like, I hate having, like, a sense, like, I feeling like I have to play, you know. Even, like, some, like, like, I'm a person that, like, most, like, regs and, like, pros, like, they have to play on Sunday, you know. Like, if I don't feel yeah. like playing, like, I'm not going to play. Like, if you don't feel like playing, then, like, you're going to play like shit, like. Oh yeah, I, I've I've skipped more Sundays in 2024 
than I did in the previous three years. And it's like, I have finally learned that if you feel like shit or you don't feel like playing, like you're going to lose like probably nine times out of 10. And also, like, it's just it's like, like, not worth it. There's more tour. It's not like this is the last Sunday ever, you know, like sure. There's some good right. tournaments and you can win some money, but it's not like the next day, there's not going to be more tournaments that you can win money right. again. Like it's, Right. And, and it's like, like, if you don't feel like playing, you're tired, and then you play on Sunday, and, like, you rip four bullets into the marathon, and then, you know... Oh, I don't bust even the... start playing early enough for the marathon. Well, all right. Well, I usually, like, try to hop in towards the end now. I used to I used to play the big 30 at 10 a.m. That seems Sunday. unnecessary. And then I'd rip it from 10 a.m. to, like, 1 a.m. And... Now I just don't have the stamina for it, but like most Sundays now I'm starting at like six. So I'll hop in, you know, the special, the 215, like whatever else is running. But when you play when you're tired and you're just like, like, I mean, most sessions I am tired to be honest, because I'm working all day and then yeah, come like, home. But what, what do you do? Like, uh... I work for the, I work for the city of Philadelphia. So I'm in the finance department. Whatever you can imagine it to be, just multiply that by, like, 10, and that's how, like, much of a mess it is. Uh, I'm not going to get too into it so I don't get fired, but it's an absolute Team shit smart. show. Team smart. Uh, it, yeah, it, it's a mess. But, you know, I, I'm in year five and a half. I'm trying to hold on here, at least get to 10 years, grab a min pension, uh, maybe reassess from there. But first job out of college only job really and uh where'd you go where'd you go to college i went to westchester oh, you went to westchester too everyone yeah you dub c to... baby yeah i mean i i applied to like a whole bunch of places and then ultimately i was like i'm gonna go somewhere close and somewhere cheap and everywhere else i applied was like double the price and i'm like it's really not worth it like let's just go there and, and i liked it there um and, you know, the job I got, you just take a civil service test and then interview. But, um, I mean, the city's a disaster. But it's also, like, I just can't imagine playing for a living. It would be way too stressful. So I'm going to try to ride it out as long as I can and then figure it out from there. Hopefully one of, like, my really smart friends, you know, starts up a business and I work for them. I'd be fine with that. Uh, my my ego in, in that sense is very uh i have no shame i'd work for them in a heartbeat like my one buddy mark I, i'm like dude when, when are you going to start something up like i need to get out of the city it's a disaster yeah i, I did not like living in the city i'm not a city person did you go you went did you go right into poker or did you have a job at some point um uh, no i had like i graduated college i graduated from west virginia but like I never got a like a degree like I never got like a what a, a fucking job like in what I majored in you know mm -hmm. like I majored in what sports, you major in sports management Isn't... okay I, that's what I wanted to go into my mom's like what are you gonna do I'm like uh hey, well, I don't it's know very hard. well like West Virginia like surprisingly was like a good um, school for it just because of like nepotism like. They were like the first school that had it as a major, like one of the first. Ones. Okay. So there's like a lot of West Virginia people that are in like s positions, I guess. But like, I was a lazy fuck. Like you know, I wasn't doing the internships and like, like it's like a very competitive field. Like a lot of people, want to, right. so like, you gotta be like putting in all the extra work. And I was just like smoking weed. Not. Like, like you know, I did, I did good on my test. Like I had good grades, but like I wasn't putting in the extra effort. You know, it's like. I got out of the, wor the worst is like coming out of college and they're like, all right, what internships did you have? And I'm like, none. They're like, all right, what uh, what extracurriculars were you in? I'm like, uh. I, work I worked at Sesame Place for five, six years. <laughs> like, yeah, I worked here with Big Bird, but uh, I got nothing else on the resume. So, I mean, it's like, yeah, I can do this job. My resume looks like shit. Take it or leave it. Like. Yeah. I was working, I worked at like one of those, holy, my, okay, the work, uh, you were, my computer was spazzing out for a second, but yeah, I worked at one of those like Amazon like warehouses or whatever, you know, that was my last uh -oh. little job, and like I was like, I can't job. imagine that was very enjoyable. 
No, I would, because literally it was like, you'd work four days, like, they're like four ten-hour shifts, and then, like, literally all, all three of my days off, I'd be playing at parks, and then, like, I was making more, like, on the, my days off at parks than I was at Amazon, so then I quit, and then, like, right. four or five months later, I went broke, and then, that's when I came out, though. So like, you went broke from live cash, or that was online? Yeah, it was from like I made money at live cash. Like it wasn't like I was losing player. Like, but like, it was, right. like I was firing tournaments. Like you know, right. like I was firing like one Ks and shit. Like without yeah. with like a fucking like ten K bankroll. Like like you know like just right. Like so I had no and, and no no backer or anything. No just backer, out no there. bankroll just... management. Just like fuck it. Like it'd be like uh, the one time I fucking. Cash like I got like six in the Iggy like one sixty two whatever, and if it was for like four or five k, I was like, oh sick, I got my fucking buy into the fucking WPT Borgata. Like, and the next day I just went and fired day one deal like the thirty five hundred. It like, just dusted it. <laughs> dusted it. Yeah, well I made it too, but yeah, I didn't cash. But like, yeah, I dusted it. But like, like what's my, the? I, I didn't. Is... I didn't have like my bankroll management skills are fucking horrid. Like, are they still bad? Um. Yeah, they're still not the best. <laughs> still not the best. Still not the best. But like, is it is it ten k the biggest blind you've played? Yeah, yeah. I don't picture myself playing any twenty five k. I mean, there's no, there's like, I guess there's fifteen k's now at Poker Go, but like, I'm not gonna go play a fucking Poker Go the, tournament. The Poker Go stuff isn't that just like the same sixteen absolute animals just battling each other to say that they're the best reg? Like, um, yeah, you have a couple of cheeseburgers sprinkled in now and then. They have, like, satellites and stuff, you know. Okay. But, like, yeah, and I'm sure, like, in, in there, it's kind of, like, probably, like, spoken, like, it's, like, any ecosystem. There's, like, you know, some, there's, like, bad regs, and, like, I don't know, some, and it's also poker. Everyone has egos, right? So right. So, it's, like, everyone thinks they're better than they are. And, like, there's also a lot of people you don't know. They could just be, like, rich fucks. Like, you don't know who in poker is, like, just... Just yeah, wealthy as hell. Yeah, they like they don't care about the money. Like, yeah, they got like ten million in career live earnings, and like, but you don't know. Like, some people are just rich as fuck. Yeah, like the I was at Philly Live, and this guy absolutely punted. It was like a horrendous play. He gets up from the table, and I'm like, "What the hell was that? Like, that made no sense." And the guy's <laughs> like, "Oh, he's the best player in the room." I'm like, "I can't imagine that to be true." And he's like, oh, yeah, look him up. And he shows me his end of mob, and it's like, he's got a million in caches, which is, like, obviously good and way more than I'll ever have. But the way he played, it's like, I know for a fact this guy's got a million in caches and two million in buy-ins. Like, it's like, that doesn't make him good. Like, it, it wasn't even, like, a remotely logical play. And he's just like, oh, yeah, he's the best player. I'm like, dude. He was the same guy that also told me the WSOP schedule was out, and it was like three months before it dropped. And I'm like, you have no idea what you're talking about, sir. <laughs> but like, I wasn't gonna argue with him. But guessing this is at Philly Live. Yeah, it was at Philly Live, and this was. I played. I started my session at like 6 p.m. And then I read. I played cash through the night, got breakfast, and then regged the 11:15 flight on a Saturday. And then played till like 7 p.m. and busted. And I was like, ah, oh, it just wasn't worth it. Like, it was just so exhausting. Yes, yeah, I, I hate driving home for Philly. I hate driving. Like, ever since, like, I think I might, I don't know if I talked about this other stream, but like, one time I got pulled over driving home and like, I got like handcuffed and shit. Like, oh, where, and where so you every time I drive at night, I have like such bad, like, <laughs> I think, like, every cop, it's, like, every car is a cop car, and I'm just, like, I'm so, right. like, paranoid the whole time, and it's just, like, it doesn't matter if I'm sober, I'm still just, like, out of my mind, yeah. I, like, don't want to, like, try, like, I don't know, and then, like, I don't know, you're just, like, angry, I gotta drive the fuck home, like, I don't know, like. Oh, driving home after you lose a bunch of money is also just, like, so sad, driving like. It's the worst thing. I hate driving. That's my least favorite activity. I don't know if people are, like, oh, yeah, like, car is cool, like, who gives a fuck, like. I just want to be at the place. Like, can we just, like, have them drive for ourselves, you know? Like, fucking, like, can we stop fucking up with Twitter and just fucking make a car that works correctly? Like, <laughs> right, right. Like, yeah, I mean, when, when I first, the first casino I ever played at was Chester. 
So I would drive from Westchester to Chester and like play with like birthday money or whatever. And I, I had no job, no income, nothing. And I would lose and I'd be like, this is so sad, like walking out of here. But like the, the, um, the night before my first day at work ever, we had a home game and I lost set over set. And I didn't even have enough money to take the bus the next day. <laughs> I, was, I busted out and it, it was like Queen 10 6. And I go, we're, we get all in. And me and my buddy are like, I'm like, I got a set. He's like, so do I. I'm like, fuck, how am I getting to work tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> so, how'd you get to work? Um, my mom let me 500 bucks. It was a, it was a big loan. Uh, but you know, I, I was going to get paid, but she, she did me a solid. I was so broke. It was disgusting. Um, but thankfully, you know, she, she helped me DJ a little bit throughout college and I probably played like 10 sessions at, at Chester. But once I finally got a job, I would, uh, I would go to rivers pretty much every Friday and just rip it till the wee hours of the morning. And then, like, go to my girlfriend's house at the time. And then be like, oh, can I go back tomorrow? And I probably shouldn't. And then just do it again on Friday over and over again. But, um, yeah, once once the floor lady gave me a box of tissues, I didn't really go back after that. <laughs> like, like I, I had, like, a controversial, like, hand. And I called the floor, and she literally brought me a box of tissues and threw it on the table. Like, yeah. she was like, stop crying. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? Like, that was the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen. It was like 4 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, yeah, she, she's no longer there, but. <laughs> she did me dirty. She did. I think we're going to wrap it up here. That sounds good to me. Uh, thank you for joining us. Appreciate you, Obs. I'll talk to you soon. Yeah, I'll see you. Hopefully, I see you at the Borgata. Come play some tournaments there. Hope so. Good luck tonight if you fire. Yeah, good luck. Hopefully, I'll get your team some points. Let's hope so. <laughs> Have a good one. See ya. How do I turn this thing off? I, I'm the worst fucking streamer east of the Mississippi. Uh.